Hi guys. Well, it's Tuesday. That means the things I've been thinking about, I'm going to try to share with you in a way that might be helpful. You know, since most of us were very young, we've probably had parents or teachers or other authorities in our life talking to us about how we talk to others and that it's important that we be kind or that we talk in a certain way to others so that we don't offend unnecessarily and so forth. And, and we think about that. We, we kind of try to monitor ourselves as the way we talk to others. And that's good. But how do you talk to yourself? <laughs> I know, I know we can assign that to crazy land, but the truth is we talk to ourselves all the time. Our inner monologue is always going. And how that conversation with yourself is going can be a huge factor when we're going through times of change and transition. It, for example, if, if the way you're talking, if the conversation in your head is negative, it's focusing on weaknesses, failures, and, and why you might not ever get to where you want to go, um, that's a problem. How you talk to yourself becomes a huge factor. Identifying strengths, celebrating progress, encouraging yourself that you've begun this process and you can get through it. These are the ways we need to be talking to ourselves in times of transition. It's easy to get trapped in the negative spiral, but that won't help you. In fact, it'll cause a lot of problems. We need to take a little time, maybe today, to just set aside our, uh, a little window and think about how have I been talking to myself? If you'll do that and you begin to change the conversation in your head, you might find that this whole transition thing can go a lot smoother. Well, that's what I'm thinking about today.